Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can build an overflow chest like I had in my Enderman farm on the Visocraft server but this design I made it a little bit more compact so you can fit it nicely in your base and use it for example for getting rid of dirt. So as you can see it is not that big and it's not that expensive. Uh, you, all the materials that you need, or almost all, you can see in my hotbar, so it's 8 redstone, it's 2 comparators, a dropper, a hopper, 2 chests, a lever, then a cactus and a sand, um, a few blocks of uh, building, building material and uh, the half slabs. So let's build that up right away. And the good thing is that we can build it right next to this thing here. So let's do this. Uh, first you place your chest like this then your um, dropper facing downwards, then the hopper from the side so it fills up with the material that you want to get rid of, for example ender pearls. And uh, then coming to the back we'll start with redstone, we'll have two blocks here so the redstone isn't visible from the front. And then you want to place a block here and a half slab next to it. And this will make sure that uh, we get the uh, clock started only if the chest is almost full so we can play something like this if you want to have the chest a little bit more empty you can just longer the redstone signal to the back by one and having a redstone signal of uh, only 13 to the side of here and then the chest will stay a bit um, uh, with less items this is now for uh, redstone level 14 there's only four slots but if you uh, decrease the redstone level you will get more slots free in your chest then coming down here, I want to place a block to get the redstone signal downwards and from here on we'll uh, start building our clock. So uh, comparator on subtract mode, going into a block and down below here we'll have another redstone and then we need some half slab wiring up like this and redstone on top of there. This will, um, yeah, make the clock running back here because that goes into the side and also um, goes to the dropper so it um, dispenses the items and uh, then you just need uh, the sand and place it right next to the redstone here and a cactus and maybe put some uh, blocks around so the items uh, can't go anywhere else like this and uh, yeah, that's already it. Uh, let me quickly fill this uh, up with ender pearls. And as you can see, it starts dispending the ender pearls because the chest is almost full. And the good thing about this is, if you dump anything else besides ender pearls or in the other case dirt in this chest, it can't go through. So it is also um, yeah. Um, safe for uh, dispensing uh, items that you want to keep so that's quite nice and uh, yeah that's already it for today's tutorial i hope that you enjoyed it if you did feel free to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and i will see you in the next video